Hi everybody, Mike Brown here again with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. We've now dealt with corrections, and that is exposure and color. We have dealt with selections in, in length to enable you to isolate areas for corrections and so on and so forth. And now we're going to deal with another powerful feature in Photoshop that allows you to be unbelievably creative, and that is the layers feature. Layers allow you to bring objects into uh, an image and create composites of different images and different effects and all sorts of stuff, and they don't bother each other. They eat, can be dealt with in individual layers or combinations of layers. Wonderful stuff that you can do with them. You couldn't do what Photoshop has available without layers. And now we also have adjustment layers, which allow you to apply all of your exposure and color corrections and some other effects as well without altering any physical pixels of any of the picture layers. This is so powerful. So let's get started. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the layer basics, how, you, how layers work, the layers panel, what are the features of the panel, adjustment layers, what they are, why they work, and how you use them very briefly. And then I'm going to give you a quick example of using adjustment layers to show you exactly the power and then in the next lesson, we will expand to layer masks and putting it all together. So let's get started. Here's a layer sample. I'm going to change my screen mode and spacebar. First off, we'll talk about the hand tool again. Remember, the hand tool moves your entire image. Now, this looks like a singular image, doesn't it? We're moving it all around. But when I open my layers panel, lo and behold, this image is actually made up of five different layers. The star, the triangle, the circle, the square, and the white background. And they're all separate layers. They're actually stacked up above each other. The way layers work is essentially like a deck of cards. They stack up and you look at them from the top down. In this case, you see the star resides above the triangle. The triangle is above the circle, the circle is above the square, and the square and all of the other objects are above the white background layer. Now, we just showed you that the hand tool moves your entire image, and you notice all the layers don't change position, they all move. The move tool, however, moves only layers, and only active layers. You make a layer active by clicking on it. When you click on it, it gets highlighted in blue. Okay? The only layer that you cannot move is the background layer. It has a lock on it. If I try to move it, click and drag, it tells me I can't move it because it's locked. Well, I knew that. And now you know that too. You cannot move it up in the stack either. It is absolutely locked in its position as a background layer. That's one of the characteristics of a background layer. Now, um, all of the other layers can be moved, combined, turned on, turned off. All layers can be visible or not visible. See the little eye icon next to each layer? Watch the circle. If I click the eye, it turns it off. It did not delete that layer. The layer is still there, it just turned it off. This is very powerful too, because sometimes you might want to use some layers for some reason in one usage, and then turn some of them on and turn some other ones off for another usage, all within one document, rather than having to redo and do several different documents. Very powerful right there. So we'll turn.